So, uh, how you guys doing? Uh, yeah, me too. Okay. Hey, I'm back. Anyways, hey guys, welcome back to the Grey One channel and welcome back to our movie series where we review movies that we just go back and see, you suggest, or short films of ours. And today is going to be another movie that one of you guys suggested. Yeah, thank you to the geeky fanboy that we get to make this video. Thank you for that. And this movie uh, is a movie that came out this year, the year 2020. What the hell? And uh, it's pretty much really one of the only horror movies that have come out this year. Yeah, there's not been much. And it's pretty creepy. Well, I guess. Not really, but I guess kinda. I don't know. And the movie is The Invisible Man. Like I just said, The Invisible Man is one of the only horror movies that have come out this year because obviously because of the virus and the delays and we should overall just be kind of grateful that we have a movie like this coming out this year. And what do I mean when I say that? Well, just look at all the horror movies we have gotten this year so far. Like... Come on, we you've ever you've either never heard of them before, or you just don't care, or that you have seen them and they're just not that good, and we just haven't really gotten a legitimately good horror movie, or not really much this year. So if you don't like The Invisible Man, then that's too bad. But anyways, uh, first and foremost for the review, what did I think of The Invisible Man? Uh, first time when I watched it, I thought it was really, really good. I thought it was a very, very well-made movie, and it shows what a Invisible Man movie would be like in the year 2020. I thought it was very well-made, I thought, I did think it was a very well-made movie, and I still think that. I still think it's very well-made. Um, Lee Wanell, who directed this movie, is also the director of such movies like, uh, Upgrade, which I have seen, and I think it's very, also a very well-made movie. Um... It's not really a movie that I would really feel like watching again, if I had to be honest, but I think it is still very well made. The ending is very like, whoa, holy shit. And overall, The Upgrade is a very good movie. And and yeah, what um, Leo Wanell does with this movie, the, the Invisible Man does differently, is, you know, it makes it a bit more of a horror movie, a bit more scary. And I do have a bit of an issue with how he handles his, like, scares, but we'll get to that in the issues. But right now, let's get into the positives. Elizabeth Moss plays Cecilia, who is a woman who's dealing with a lot of shit. Like, she is being traumatized by her abuser, who is apparently invisible. And straight off the bat, Elizabeth Moss does a really, really good job with her performance. Well, I mean, I'm not really the best with criticizing people's performances, but for what I saw, she did a really good job. Um, but with the character Cecilia, uh, there are times in the movie where she is just losing her mind. She is a mess. She is upset, and she's just... Yeah, she's going crazy. And there's times where she's just kind of, she's just kind of being an ass. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, Cecilia, the character, it was really, really traumatizing and shitty to see all the stuff that she went through. And overall, Elizabeth Moss did a really good job playing her. Um, the supporting characters, there's a, uh, a father character and a daughter. Uh, that uh, Cecilia lives with uh, just to get over what she's been dealing with and I think that they're very very likable characters the characters the supporting characters the father the daughter They are surprisingly very very likable. They're not like these arsehole people that she lives with uh, No, they are very very nice to her and there's one scene where they're all just like being happy with each other It's it sounds a bit it sounds cliche, but when you watch the scene, I'm just like Wow, this is actually kind of nice. So there's this one scene where they're all just like talking to each other and it's like really happy and stuff. And yeah, I like the like the what do you want to call it relationship friendship? What do you want to go with with these three uh, Cecilia and the father and the daughter? I just I loved it. It's and it was very trauma. It was very sad to see how it kind of just the, the, the relationship and the friendship just kind of broke well, as the movie continues because of the invisible man just tearing it apart. Um, I won't get into too much because of spoilers, but yeah, um, I also really like how the movie starts off, like, really quick, like, we, we understand what the Cecilia is, who she is, and what she's dealing with, and then we just stay, uh, like, they, we start off straight off the bat, like, we understand what's going on, and that's what I like about the movie, it starts off quick, it doesn't start out slow or anything, it starts off really quick, which made me really happy, I'm like, okay, we're we getting to the point, we're just getting into the point, so, yeah, that, I like how the movie starts off very quick, um, and, uh, yeah, some of the action scenes were very, very cool. There's one scene that takes place in a hospital. Well, I think so. I don't know. There's one scene that takes place in a hospital where the Invisible Man's, like, 
punching people and grabbing them and like slamming them to like walls and shit. And I thought they were really cool. I thought they were also very weirdly, but very, very cool um, shot. They were very, with the camera shots and stuff, they were very cool. And I thought some of the action scenes were pretty cool. Um, not very memorable, but still very, very cool and uh, very, very well handled. But anyway, guys, those are some of my positives with The Invisible Man. Um, I would maybe go into more, but spoilers, I don't want to get into it too much. I don't want this to be a spoiler-free review. So, <sighs> either way, guys, let's get into the issues. There are some scenes where Cecilia is, like, wandering around the house trying to find that crazy invisible man, and it's clearly just trying to build up to a jump scare or at least some sort of scare. And there are times where I just think it's going a little too slow. I was, I'm just sitting there with Cecilia walking around the house, and I'm just like, okay, maybe, can you please hurry up? Like, this is taking a little too long. Uh, it, there's just times where it's trying to build up to, a, like, a scare or something, and I'm, it's taking too long. It's taking, it's going really slow, and I just think, like, hurry up, get to the scare. I know it's about to happen. And when it does end up happening, I'm just like, okay, I've already seen that in the trailers, or or maybe, oh, I'll just, I'll just, I already expected that was going to happen. But, uh, yeah, I thought that the build up to the scares was just way too slow. And if you like how the scares, the build-up to the scares were handled, that's that's fine. That's up to you if you like them, if how slow they were, um, if you liked it a lot more. I just found it, like, a bit irritating. Like, okay, it's taking too long, just hurry up. So, that's just to me, at least. Um, probably my biggest issue with the movie is the ending. Well, I don't know if it's... I, don't, I can't really say if it's my biggest issue, but it's just... The ending is very, very complicated. I, at first, was completely, like... I didn't know what to think. I wasn't like shocked. I was like, holy shit. I'm, oh my God, I'm losing my mind. I didn't feel that. I was just confused. Yeah, I was just confused. I wasn't like, my mind was blown or anything. I was just confused. I didn't feel anything from the ending. Now, of course, I did watch Ending Explains and I did get a bit more deeper on the ending. And now at this point, I do understand it. And I'm just kind of like, oh, okay. Right. Not really all mind blown. So the ending, I wasn't a big fan of. It was it was a fine ending, but first time watching it, I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel shocked, and my mind didn't. Well, I my, I just didn't feel anything. I just felt confused, which I just that that was kind of irritating. I had to watch Andy explains, and I was actually still kind of confused. But I figured it out, and I'm just kind of like, oh, okay, sure, I guess. Yeah. So the ending very complicated. Um. Uh, there's a few scenes, like the hospital scene I was talking about earlier. Now, I do like the scene. I thought it was, it's a cool scene and all, but, but the biggest issue with it is that it kind of ruins, like, the invisible man. Like, the whole movie, he's just invisible. Like, we don't know where he is. That's the creepy part about the movie. He's somewhere, and we don't know where he is. And he could just do something bad any second. But we just don't know when, because he's fucking invisible. Um, but then, near the end, where he's kind of more... We kind of know where he is at this point. We kind of, like, we, we know what he's doing and shit. That's where it's kind of ruined. Um, the whole, like... I guess it is kind of fine. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, yeah, we've had the majority of the movie. He's invisible, and now we get to actually see what he's doing and shit. I guess it's not that bad, but... I mean, I guess it kind of does ruin, like... The whole, the funness, the like the creepiest part about the movie, and that we don't know where he is, and where the Invisible Man is, which was pretty much like yeah, like I said, the creepiest part about the movie. So that's kind of ruined near the end of the movie. But overall, it's not a biggest, it's not a big issue. But whatever, that's pretty much all my issues with the movie. I guess that's all I can really think of. Hmm. Despite some of my issues, guys, The Invisible Man is a very, very well-made movie. Elizabeth Moss does a great job of her performance. Uh, the supporting characters are very likable. It's a really quick movie. Some of the action scenes are really, really cool. And overall, The Invisible Man is a pretty damn good movie. And do I recommend you guys go check out The Invisible Man? Uh, yes, I do. It, do. it does have a bit of issues. It's not a perfect movie like every other movie. It's not perfect. Um, but I think you guys will probably find a lot of enjoyment. I didn't hate the movie. I didn't hate it at all. I thought it was really, really well made. Like I said, a hundred times in this video. Um, but yeah, I think you guys will really like the movie. You'll find some enjoyment in it. A bit of maybe might be creeped out from the movie. Maybe. I don't know. And I think you guys will have a good time in this movie. And yes, I do recommend it. Alrighty guys, this is going to be the end of my review of The Invisible Man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you to the Geeky Fanboy for suggesting for me to do this review. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah. Uh, can you see me? No? Oh, that's because I'm invisible. Yeah. Cool, right?